What is your name? Who are you? Laziness. Laziness. How many just left just now? Only 60. I'm alone. You're alone? That's not the truth. You are not alone. Why did you lie? Why did you lie? Stop. Why did you lie? Take out the rest of us. You should get rid of everyone. Go ahead. If you get rid of everyone. Oh. Go ahead, talk. Finish your sentence. She's powerful. If you get rid of everyone, then she she'll she'll uh, she'll be to use the power. What power? What power? What power? She can she can prophesy. She can tell people about Jesus, and they'll hear her. And she won't be afraid, and she won't. Okay. Have time. We're running out of time. Right out of time. Jesus is coming soon. Can you feel it? Yes. Okay. Listen, for now on, truth come out of your lips. Truth sail to your lips. You hear me? In Jesus' name. Truth sail to your lips. How many powers do you have? Fifteen. Fifteen powers? Why do you have so many powers? Because to get given more. Because the time we're in. If we keep people lazy and 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 and, and, and not, not doing what they're supposed to do. It makes it easier for other spirits to enter in, and and then they can't do anything because they're lazy. So, so you guys can enter somebody if they are inactive. Yes. So if a Christian isn't praying, isn't reading, isn't fasting, you can enter. Yes. Is it hard for you to enter somebody if the person fasts? Harder, yes. It's, it's, it's harder. If the person is reading the word, are you able to enter them? If they are reading and, and, and understanding, and then they, they get the revelation from that word, we can't do anything. You can't do nothing. So the only way you can enter somebody's life is if there's sin in their life, right? Yeah. Okay. How many do you have under you? It's like uh, three. Three. Are you greater than Jesus? No. Are you stronger than Jesus? No. How long you been in her body? <laughs> Twelve years. Twelve years. So if if she prays and she asks angels to protect her, what happens to you guys? We're 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 inactive. We can't we can't do anything. Can't do nothing. How many angels do you see right now around me? There's still there's two. It's just two. Oh, left, right. There's um a glow on your chest. What does the glow mean? What is that? It's, it's 
spirit of God. Is that is is there anything on my head? Yes. What is it? See a sword of fire. A sword of fire on my head. We knew you were coming. How did you know? Um, through your conversations, she was telling her mom that she's looking forward to it. We knew you were coming. So did you guys try to stop it? Um, we wanted her to cancel. Um, and you guys wasn't successful? No. She was, she was determined, right? Yes. I hate that. You hate what? When she's determined. Okay. All right, here we go. It's time to go, okay? In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that's connected to you. Every spirit connected to laziness. I command you out of her body now in Jesus' name. All your works you have done in her body, I break it now in the name of Jesus. Everything you stole from her, she will receive it, retrieve it now in the name of Jesus. Out of her body now. All of you go. Every spirit connected to laziness, out of her body now in Jesus' name. Out. Out. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out of her now. Go. <clears throat> Go now in Jesus' name. Out, out, all the way. Out. Out, out, out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rebe Kimando Bo Sada Bahaya. Thank you. Out, out, all the way, all the way out. All, yeah, all the way to the pitch you go, to the pitch, to the pitch you go in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus.